Hi, I'm Erica. Today I'm going to draw and color a mandala using a Maestro Graph app. Some of my followers on Instagram asked me how to use the gradient feature on a Maestro Graph. So I'm going to show you how to use that feature in this video. Before we get to the coloring part, let's finish up drawing. Oh, before I go silent, please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, please hit like and leave some comments. Thanks! Here, I'm having a hard time making it work because I added more lines to the symmetry grid. So I'm playing around to see what works best here. Then I decided to draw without symmetry. This way I can draw lines without going over other lines. Although I have to draw lines all around the mandala, this is the best way that I can think of. Now that drawing is almost over, let's talk about cleaning up the palette. I like to start fresh every time I start coloring. So I put white in opposite corners and touch them with my thumb and middle fingers then drag them in together like pinching motion to make the palette all white. Now I can use the same method to create a color gradient in the palette. Simply pick a color and add it to one of the top white spaces and grab that color and the white in the very bottom then use the pinching motion. Now I have a color gradient in the palette. 
By the way, this is not the new gradient feature. I'll show you how to use that new feature in a bit. Let's talk about the new feature. I'll call it a gradient pen. To use a gradient pen, simply pick two colors from the palette that you want to mix. You touch the square box next to the circle, then swipe left. Then you see the colors are mixed inside the circle. But I have to say that one more time. It is important to touch the square box, then swipe left. If you touch the circle, then swipe left, it won't work. When you are done with using the gradient pen, do the opposite. Swipe right. But again, you need to touch the square box, then swipe right, not the circle.
thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me some thumbs up and leave some comments. I'll see you next time.